Hey guys, Pingu Charts here and welcome back to another Bitcoin video. So this morning I made a quick video on Bitcoin and mentioned that if we can't break above the 20.7 level and we reject, that is extremely bearish on our part. So now it looks like again with this rejection candle right around here, we have a massive bearish engulfing candle heading back down to the support. I did mention this morning that if Bitcoin were to test this 19.5 level again, I do not see it holding. Now, there's a few reasons why I think this. Now, guys, pay attention. You can see that right here, we had this double bottom formation right around here and again, right around here. And we are now currently below the exponential moving averages. This morning, we were trading above the exponential moving averages, which is a very bullish situation. I did say that I would be looking for around the 20.7 level before we see a trade opportunity. But this morning, Bitcoin did have a beautiful rejection coming straight down and retesting this major support line. Now, this is where things get a little tricky. As you guys can see right over here, we had this kind of the same formation candle on Bitcoin where we tested this level, broke above to exactly around the 20,000 level and then rejected with a massive bearish engulfing, breaking the support line and retesting the major support at 18.8. Now, that is a situation that we're currently looking at on Bitcoin. And again, I did mention that if we do not see a proper move set. This is a no trade zone, guys. Do not enter a trade right now because this can technically, still speaking, go above the exponentials on the four hour and continue and retest the highs again. This is more of a consolidation ro uh, range is what we call it. And these are pretty much no trade zones. So you want to be really careful because you don't want to get chopped up in these levels and get pretty much wrecked, right? The whole point is you want to save your capital and you want to make sure that you can enter a trade that's proper. I'm just going to go ahead and delete all these little drawings I made. But in reality, so right now it looks like if we do break below this line of 19.5, guys, be ready to take a shorting opportunity on the retest basically when this level breaks we're either going to see a straight move down to the 18.8 level or we're going to see a gradual close and then a rejection candle let me show you guys what i mean by that when a rejection candle happens it can it's pretty simple right around here let me go ahead and get the tool again you can see that we broke this level at 20.7 but we did not enter the trade on this previous wick to the downside. You have to be really careful about that because you want the best entry possible. You would have entered around this level right here when the candlestick rejected the support line. Obviously, you guys know that old support becomes new resistance and that's exactly what happened here. Old support became new resistance and it rejected again so this would be the shorting opportunity you were pretty much looking for and again the trade went down and we saw a beautiful profit zone the same situation can be said about this right now and, and that's a level you kind of want to pay attention to is if the level of 19.5 breaks you want to wait for the retest opportunity and then the move down that is a pretty simple shorting opportunity guys and again you have to be careful about the wick right when you're trading bitcoin these wicks can be pretty deadly so that's why i suggest getting the best possible entry for example let's say you know you fomo in and you're like no no we're gonna go down and you enter right here now bitcoin continues higher and then rejects back down well, you basically missed out on the entry from around the 19.8 level where we're at currently, and you could have entered around the 20.4, 20.5. It doesn't sound like much, but guys, those few hundred dollar differences, they were talking like, you know, 10, 15% gains at the end, and that's pretty much what you're looking for. You have to learn discipline. You have to learn when to enter a trade and when to be, you know, just sit on your hands and wait. This is a pretty much what we're looking at for Bitcoin right now. I just had a quick update for you guys. Trading below the exponentials is pretty bearish. So again, keep an eye on these exponential moving averages. If these exponentials break above, we would be looking for a retest around the 20.7 like we had this morning. But if we continue staying around this range at the 19.8, $20,000 range, guys, that is extremely bearish for Bitcoin, and I do not see Bitcoin holding the 19.5 level. I mentioned in the first video that you guys can see that we have tested this level multiple times at the 19.5. You can see right here, I'll draw it big and, big and nice for you guys. One basically support here, two level, almost three support level tests, and again, 
this is now the fourth test. This basically, every time the support level is tested, it obviously becomes weaker. This would be our fourth test. And again, this would be a major zone to short. I do not suggest entering long positions as Bitcoin has been in a downtrend. Do not take the risk of taking long positions unless you're scalping. But of course, for those of you that are not scalping, just wait for confirmation before you enter. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for watching once again. I hope you have a wonderful day.